Everybody's doing well. My name is Gary Willing. I want to welcome you to Search for Signs. And I just want to say, if you have a question or two you want to ask me, feel free to post your question in the comment section. Email me at searchforsignsatmail.com. That's the other way of doing it. Or you can post a comment and just let me know what you think. All right. Now, Timothy wants to know. He has a question. He said, I wonder if Ben's master is Jesus. Well, I guess that's a guess, you know, just like anything else, you know. People have guessed Jesus. They've met, they've guessed the Master Joel Cool. They've messed. They've guessed um, the Master Kudhumi, the Master Moria. Those are all guesses that I've heard, because Ben, <clears throat> when he talked about his master and the name came up, he always said he wasn't allowed to say his master's name. He was only allowed to say that he was well known in esoteric circles and that he was a senior member of the hierarchy of this planet. That's it. But we won't know for sure who Ben's master is until after the Day of Declaration, when Maitreya is already known for who he is and he starts to introduce these masters one by one by one. So we all can have guesses, but it doesn't really mean much. And it's really not that important to try to guess his name. Now, maybe this can help you out a little bit too, because this also goes in, in terms of some things that Ben had talked about, about, about the masters and also about his particular master. Now, he said that uh, in the mid-70s, the first master that was living in one of these ancient retreats entered a major city, and that ma first major city was New York, and then another one entered London. And this isn't Maitreya. This was before Maitreya entered London on July 19th, 1977. So there was a, there's another master in London apart from Maitreya. Then one went into uh, Geneva. One went into Darjeeling, and then one went into Tokyo. And he said it was of no importance the order in which they w entered these cities. That was just the order in which it happened. And then two more masters entered two different cities, one into Rome and then one into Moscow. And then over the years, he had mentioned that some other cities like L.A. and San Francisco, Beijing and Paris had masters in it. And maybe more cities now have masters than been let out of the bag, but those are the ones that I remember him talking about. And out of all those masters in all those cities, the only one that he mentioned by name was the Master Jesus, who he said was in Rome, who will eventually, his role in the future will be to head up the churches around the world, especially the Christian churches. The other thing he said about his master, and this might be able to help you out whether it was the Master Jesus or not, and I'll just leave it to you to decide what you think is when Ben talked about the location of his master, it was always in the Himalayas. He, he was not in a major city as of the, the time that Ben was alive. So whether he's in a major city now or not, but it wasn't in Rome. <laughs> I'll just put it to you like that. So hopefully that helps. Now, Ben, when he was approached by uh, a few people to let him know that he was he was not receiving messages, but he was being sent messages by a particular master, did not believe him at first. He was approached on the street by somebody who said, uh, just want to let you know that a master is trying to send you messages and they're bouncing off you. And he said, oh, no, that's not true. And the guy said, no, no, it's true. And if you do such and such and such and such, and Ben was never able to say what the such and such and such and such was, um, you would receive them. And then eventually he did, and then the whole thing kind of kicked off from there. But Ben demanded proof from his master before he started work. And Alice Bailey did the same thing. She demanded proof from uh, her master because she didn't know if she was going insane or not, really, because you were hearing voices in your head. So how do you know if it's coming from an outside source or you're just making it up? So Ben demanded proof, too, from his master, even though an individual approached him on the street and told him that he was receiving, he was supposed to be receiving messages and wasn't. And that proof was, he said, a picture. He asked his master to send him a picture and his master mailed him a picture through the mail. And Alice Bailey said, I think she did the same thing. She asked for a picture and it was, and the master DK sent it to her through the mail. So anyway, hopefully that all helps, you know, um, but like I said, it's really not important to know Ben's master's name. 
or try to guess it. It's not going to help you in any way, shape, or form at this moment in time. But eventually, we'll know who Ben's master is after the day of declaration. I hope that helps. I love you guys. Thanks for the question, Tim. And I look forward to putting up videos in the very near future. You guys have a great weekend. Remember to take action and help SOP save our planet. Thanks for listening, and we look forward to talking to you again in future videos. <music>